We were at lunch with the squad that we went out with last night. Good food, good people, and Christian. We got pasta right here. And <laughs> that was funny. So that was really when you're in Rome, you have to try what the Romans try. So for the first time ever, I'm gonna have a, I think it's called a cappuccino, something like that. Wow, that's disgusting, but you know. <laughs> How cool do I look and how sick of an Instagram photo could I get? What is this supposed to be? A... Is that a heart? It was meant for me. Well, let's break it up. Yep, there we go. You get it? That's a... That's a, that's a relationship. <laughs> Thanks, Nibio. Ring, 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 ring. Ring, ring. Hello? Mr. President? Oh my god. I'm on my way. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. This is what you call an elevator transition. I'm gonna open this elevator, then it's gonna go into Joe's apartment. Okay, you're in first? Okay. This will be the sickest transition in the game right here, dude. Look at that, from the elevator oh, to the wow, apartment. Wow, that wow, was hey, a sick the, transition, man. Was this? From Max Trini, dude, dude, you wish you were a videographer, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you're pathetic. Okay, I'll put this. You want to do this now or you want to put this like, like the, You're like the weekend's like, ugly cousin, dude. <laughs> you, want, you want to see one of my late night drunk? All right, guys. Sixty grams of protein in this ice cream. Banana peanut butter swirl. Let's try it out. <laughs> that grow, man. The clasp or Velcro? Yeah. So you go because it's kind of like a security feature as well. Yeah. And then under that is a zippered pouch for the camera and keeps it separate from the main compartment so it's like waterproof and it's your passport holder. Christian is having a meeting right now talking about how many holes he wants in all of his new designs. So I want to show you guys the beautiful, so well Nabil wants to show you guys the beautiful city of Toronto. So sick. That was so sick. My name is Nabil, and I'm the provider of the Super Stream Shots of 2017, dude. Okay. <laughs> What's the weather like? It go rain! Oh Look at that, though. Look at that, though. Look at. Are you looking at that, though? You're lucky because he's the best photographer in Toronto. <laughs> so we are down at this heart thing because, guys, hearts represent love, and love represents. Uh, I have no idea, but we're gonna take a photo on that uh, and that's the thumbnail this video and the reasoning for the thumbnail of how it applies to this video is uh, there, there is none So Yep, how was your meeting Christian? I mean it was great Max. Yeah, it's very, Lots very of really cool stuff done cool stuff yeah. I might even wear some of this. Oh, yeah, maybe it's not too long, right? Uh, I would we're not I would move like we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. You're not? No. So you'd wear all the new lifestyle. It's not long. No. I would move this hole to like right there, though. No, we're not doing no. any holes. No holes. No. no fashion, bro. Look at this. Oh. What? Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Give me. Give, give me what you got. It's called a. Uh, give it to me. Okay. This is our, our, our hex team, man. Damn. That is. If only everyone 
looked like you never look as good as you. All right, let's go to the gym. All right, so we went to the gym, but Christian is nowhere to be found. He stayed back to get worked on with Vinny at Myo Detox. So I ended up at a place called Fortis Fitness and a surprise guest, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only, what, what do they call you, Surf Clam? Surf Clam, Team No Calves. That's Team why no. we're connected. This, right. is, this is terrible, actually, I gotta say, on uh, Christian, because yeah. this is probably the only workout he'd actually wanna do. Bench day, yeah. chest, right? Like this is literally his workout. He, I'm not even lying. This is not your favorite workout. Christian bailed on workout. I was like, let's go to the gym. He's like, come on, man, just, like, just don't even worry about it. He's like, we're not gonna work out tomorrow. So Christian didn't wanna work out. Christian didn't even care about fitness. But Omar and I are gonna do some bench press, some close grip bench press. And he is one of the masterminds behind the Kaizen training that we did on my powerlifting prep. So I already got to interact with Mike. So it's cool to hang out with Omar because he's gonna technique Check me on my bench press. Just We're get not... really fat, bro. That's my best advice. Yeah, and you, I mean, you're up here like 365, right? 36 a, 360, 360. 370 by the end of the year. But I'm getting puffy, bro. I'm gonna go from like 180 right now. You're like 165, 166. 165, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna have to go to 190 to bench 370. So I don't think I'll ever get to 190 my entire life. I see the pizzas every day. But I, I had a really long night last night, so we'll see how the hangover bench press goes. Close grip. Remember, if you don't know what close grip is, it's wide grip, closer. Look at this bench, by the way, guys. Look at this. Wow. You don't even need a lift off. Good. The grunt is very cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. Ooh. Yeah. That's so how you do it. I used to do like super close in. Yeah. He was saying I should switch. Why is that? Uh, just for your triceps. Sometimes when people they grip it too close, they actually internally rotate and they end up activating their pecs. If you think, if you go kind of like this just together, you can feel your pecs activated. The function, hopefully, of the close grip is to try and train your triceps more in a compound movement. So if you're just not feeling it, if you never feel your elbows, or maybe they flare out, like when you go like this, they flare out. Instead of extending at the elbow joint, just go a little bit from here, close, a little wider, you should feel it more in your triceps. And I need triceps, Wizard. I don't need triceps. You know. So smart. So we're moving into to some overhead press. And why, why, why is that? Why are we, why are we doing this, man? I wanna build uh, bigger shoulders. Remember shoulder guy? Yeah, I still have him. You still have him? He's okay. forever. <laughs> He's never leaving. Um, so for us, like you want to improve your bench press, we all want to lift more weight. I think the overhead press is underrated for a lot of bros. Uh, they tend to do seated overhead press, puts a little pressure on their lower back. This one kind of trains something called total body tension. So on the bench press, on any f***ing lift that you do, you want to keep your body tight. This is the number one of training, because if you're not tight, you'll be shaking like a leaf. It also really trains the front deltoid, the traps, and to a lesser extent, the triceps. We want a bigger bench press, we want a bench yeah. 315, so I actually think the overhead press is not always a good accessory movement, it depends. Some people increase it, and then their bench stays the same. But I think for a good amount of people, it's a good accessory movement. Good. All right, it looks way better. You can crack a walnut in those glutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go, let's go. Very good, come on, two more. Last one. Ever forward. Yeah, yes. <laughs> nice, good dude. Didn't get a ton of footage or training because I have to go to dinner, but the good news is, is that Omar and myself are gonna be linking up in like maybe early October, come to, uh, back up to Toronto for a couple of days or like a week, get some serious training content in. Someone's gonna be benching 315 pounds, I heard. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. That's the, it'll be the season finale of Max Shining's <laughs> yeah. channel. Then everyone can be like, you know what? Peace out. No, I'm no. out, I'm no. out. Yeah, so if you guys don't know Omar, I'm gonna have his information down in the description. I would say one of the best fitness focused YouTube channel. Thank you. He doesn't give you the fluff. He's not gonna give you the smoothies in the morning. He's not gonna give you filming corgis and stupid Joke's sick angles. Joke's on you, bro. After today, I'm switching entirely over. You should, man. I'm gonna show watch collection and everything. <laughs> you need to. Done with that informative content. But if you guys really want some informational fitness, check it out, first link in the description. But now, let's go to Chicago. Have a good day. You too, sir. 
ladies and gentlemen, I give you the beautiful city of Chicago. First one at the Airbnb, so you know I picked out the best bedroom. But look at this view, it's so amazing. I've been wanting to visit Chicago for a long time and we're finally here, Potato Chicago collab right now. And I'm gonna be here until Tuesday, so leave some comments down below of things I should do places I should see. How many times should I be eating deep dish pizza? Is that what you do here? I don't know, but I'm stoked. I'm gonna get some work done and take a nappy poo before the meetup later today. So excited to meet everyone. It's been insane. The New York meetup, the Toronto meetup, it's just always cool going to new places and visiting new peeps, putting some faces to some names, uh, you know, getting potatoes, and just, it's, it's a great time, and I love it, even though I'm very, very tired and sleepy right now. But, thank you guys for watching the video. Smash a thumbs up button and just have a great day and ever forward keep progressing in life guys keep working towards your goals not trying to be super motivational but it's just like beautiful weather out here i just got to spread the good vibes the vi vibes <laughs> maybe i'll hit puberty one day maybe i'll grow a beard i don't know but i'm gonna leave you guys with the toronto meetup footage thank you again and i'll see you in the next video dude What's up guys? Oh my god, I gotta run through. Alright, make some noise so it looks like you like this. Fine, dude. What's up guys? Appreciate the love out here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Y'all are all gonna be in the angle for sure. This guy with a, with a six pack. All these beautiful people here. Who is Mr. Potato?